Sorry for changing it, you guys. Um, and my lips got super dry and pasty. So anyway, I was at work and uh, I wear wigs. You know, I wear wigs, I wear wigs, I wear whatever. And me and this woman were talking about wigs. And she's an older lady. She's really sweet. She's very into church. Um, knowing her personality, you just got to meet her. But I was showing her pictures of like wigs I've got in from Sam's Beauty. I have a video of the wigs I got. And um, the first wig that I ever bought, her name was Roxy. And I didn't name the wig. And if you've never bought wigs, you're like, well, how is the wigs named Roxy? If you buy wigs online, they're categorized by the name, like by their own name. And the first wig that I ever bought was Roxy. And I did a review on her and I loved her. So I was showing her a picture. I was like, and this is Roxy. In my mind, you know, you buy wigs. You know what I'm talking about. And she's like, no, hold on, wait. Okay, I'm sorry, you guys. Let me go back. Rewind. Okay, she's like, oh my goodness, this girl is so pretty. I love the wig that she has on, blah, 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 blah. I was like, that's me. She was like, that's you? I was like, yeah, that's me. She was like, uh-uh. I was like, yeah, that's me. She was like, That's you. I was like, yeah, that's me. Like, she was like, so did you have like makeup on or something in a picture? I was like, yeah. I wear makeup all the time. It's just my face was breaking out. I was like, my face has been breaking out. And I haven't worn makeup all week because I don't want to irritate it anymore. And like, just that week in general, like everything was going wrong with my freaking face. Like my whole face was like a pizza. It took me back to freaking middle school when my grandma surprised me with an acne treatment talking about some I got you some Amira. What you trying to say? Like on the surprise, on the low tip, she was sneak dissing me, but on the real, that shit really worked. And I don't know the name of it, but it was from Avon. But anyway, let's skip back forward to 2016. Um, so, and you know, I'm not the type of person where I'm easily offended. This is not the first time I've heard this, and a lot of people it can tear down their confidence a whole lot. There's so many things to tear down your confidence. Like I said, she goes to church, she's an older woman, and she just says very nice things about me, I guess, you know? So I definitely don't think that she meant it to hurt me at all. But I do. I wear makeup, and I look different. And my hair is normally done. I don't wear my real hair. At one point, I was wearing my natural hair. Um, like in its naturally curly state, but I didn't do that. You know, I have to have versatility um, with my hair, so my hair stays different. And uh, but take it back about I must say five years ago. I would say almost five years ago, maybe a couple months from now. Um, I met my first boyfriend. And uh, he came to see me and I had just got my hair cut. Also, a small fact about me is um, when I was younger, I always got haircuts. Like, I would let my hair grow out to about this length, uh, maybe a little bit longer, not very much longer. And I would just cut it all off. And I did this every year, especially around. And I did this um, when I was 18 in January because I just wanted something different. My hair was actually pretty, pretty long, like... My hair was like pretty long, but um, not super long, but long for me, longer than it, it normally grows. But my hair was very extremely dead. Um, I think I had colored it in, or something and it just, like the ends of my hair, like I would pull it and it was just so dead. My hair would fall out into my pillow. That's how bad my split ends were. So I just cut all that stuff off. And um, you know, I showed him pictures of my haircut I sent it to him because, you know, we're talking. This is my boo or whatever. Technically, we haven't met, but we Skype, like, every night. We call each other, like, all this and text and all this. So, naturally, I'm sending him pictures of me, especially of my new and updated look. So, whenever we meet or whatever, he's like, are any of your photos photoshopped? I'm like, no. What are you talking about? My photos aren't photoshopped. 
And he basically told me how he didn't like my hair. I was like, I sent you a picture of it. And he was like, well, it looks different on the picture. You're not curling it like it was curled on the picture. And you have a long neck. And just, just going in and just going in. And yes, I do have a long neck, but I'm tall. I have a long body. I have a long face. I'm tall. So, you know, that's just me. And I was pissed about it on the low. I never said anything about it, of course. But it really hurt my feelings at the time. And now I'm just like... I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm over it. So, technically, this is, like, the second, maybe second or third. If someone's asked me that before, I've probably heard it, like, once or, like, another time. Um, I just can't think of it at the moment. But, number one, let's talk about the facts, okay? People are, when someone sees you in person and are bold enough to ask you, if, and the thing about it is, I rarely even put colors on my photos, like, even when my teeth were messed up and all that, I didn't even add any editing effects whatsoever. At the most, I would crop a picture out so the background wouldn't show. So, all my pictures, and now, you know, I add a little filter to them or something like on Instagram or something. But I don't, I've never photoshopped my pictures. I don't know how to photoshop pictures because it's, it's a little difficult for me anyway. So, because I, I was on yearbook in high school. But... And I couldn't do it then, so I, as I got older, I never learned how to do it still. So, I mean, the fact that someone has bold enough to ask you that or, you know, say that about you is really rude. It's very rude. Um, it just, just comes to bring me to the whole point of this video. If you're going to be with me, if you're going to date me, if you're going to sleep with me on a continuous basis, if you are going to, you know, follow me or just if you're going to be my boo, you're going to be my boyfriend. And I think this should be every woman. Some women, because this is the reason why. And I know I've heard stories of women. And I'm sorry for changing it up so many times. But I've heard stories of women like keeping their hair weaving and like keeping their makeup on like through their marriage and stuff. And their husbands really don't know what they look like. Well, if you're going to be with me, I want you to know what I look like. This is what I look like. This is what I, this is my natural hair. This is my natural hair. I do not Photoshop pictures, but I do wear hair weave. I wear hair weave. I wear makeup. Um, these are my natural eyebrows. Like I, I was born with thick eyebrows. I was born with thick eyebrows. These are my lips. This is my face. One side of my face is bigger than the other. Um, these are my teeth, which are now straight. They were crooked. These are my eyes. These are my eyelashes. Like this is me. You cannot listen to what people say to you. And I've been told this, you know, multiple times. Well, I've been told this obviously more than one time. But ask me if my pictures have been photoshopped. <laughs> no, because if they were photoshopped, bitch, y'all would think I was on the cover of Vogue. And then you have those guys that be like, if she looks like this with the makeup on, I can't trust her. That's why I have relationship issues. No, you have relationship issues because you can't trust yourself to keep your dick in one female. That's why you have relationship issues. Don't blame on the makeup because if you're my man or if we're together, I'm going to want to, you know, look good around you. I'm like, if we go out together, you know, I'm going to want to dress up. I want to have my hair done because I want to, when somebody sees your fine ass, I want them to see me and be like, oh, okay. I can't take him away from her because she looks good too, you know? Or like, ooh, they're cute together. I'm not hating, but he looked good and his girlfriend looked good too. I don't want them to be like, oh, he looked good. His girlfriend looked like a cow or like a, like a, a truck run or just, I don't even know. But, you know, I'll look good for you, but I'm going to look bad for you too. What type of world are you living in if you can't even be comfortable without wearing makeup and without being who you truly are, even if it may be ugly to social media? It's going to be pretty to somebody. Hit the like button if you like this video. Share it. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram, Thick Lay Chica. Follow me on Twitter, Thick Lay Chica. And hit me up on Snapchat as Thick Lay Chica. Hey.